with uh, Melanie and Harko from Let to Be Rock, and we're with uh, Doug Scarrett from Saxon. Right. So, and I recently was uh, at the annual party of the Heavy Metal Maniacs <laughs> in Heavy Metal Fan Club in Holland, and what really struck me there was an old concert poster reading Judas Priest and Saxon, and which is calling the new album British Steel from Judas <laughs> Priest. So it's really old yeah. one, and now you're touring with. Uh, Priest again, uh, is there something to that? Uh, uh well, actually, I wasn't in the band in 1981, so, but uh, we did we did three shows with Priest last year, and we've got these three this year. I think I think it was early 1981 when um, Saxon last toured with Priest, that's what I've heard, uh, here in Holland. Yeah. But, but it's fantastic. They're one of our favourite bands, Judas Priest, so it's great for me. I can say the fans love the combination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The new uh, CD, Heavy Metal Thunder, Live Eagles Over Wacken, has uh, just been released. Uh, what do you recall from that show? Uh, the three Wacken shows. Wacken's usually one of the biggest gigs we do. As far as um, production and audience goes, it's usually, I don't know what it's, 60, 70,000 people sometimes. And we've been doing it, I don't know. We must have been playing Vacuum for about at least the last 12, 13 years. But these three shows are all pretty special shows, so uh, I just remember them being great, you know. Do you have any particular uh, memory? Uh, for that? Yeah, that's something that happened or something? Uh, it's just a d it's a really good atmosphere, you know, and you meet a lot of people, and there's usually time to talk to people whereas at other festivals everything's moving really fast there's a really good backstage area with a great catering and uh, it's just a nice got quite a family feel and th and there's one big area for all the bands so people do tend to get to uh, to meet talk and get drunk stand around the fire yeah. 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 Um, last year i saw the sort of release of cd box of the career years this year is going to be a release of the emi years um, did the band have any say in uh, how the albums would be released? And no. are you happy how they turned out? But EMI do what they want, really, with the early stuff. So, so I haven't seen the package even, so I don't know. Yeah, most bands are playing as long as Sex and they're yeah losing uh, their inspiration. But you, yeah, you just uh, released an album called Two Arms last year and the new Wacken Life album. How do you guys keep doing this? In no, really, we just get together in a room and start playing and s and write songs. I mean, I think the only thing that keeps a band relevant is writing new material. Otherwise, you're just always touring on old material, and you know there's no there's no fun or inspiration for the musicians. So uh, we like to write songs. So you know, all the time people will release songs, we'll keep writing them. So are you is uh, the band already working on a new album? Uh? Yeah, we are, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're in the studio at the moment. Okay, okay. When, can hmm. we, uh, when can we expect a new album? Uh, I can't say for definite, but prob early next year. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, one thing I've noticed, uh, Smackson is on the small UDR label. Let's get a bit... Which is on the UDR I saw Saxon on it uh, with uh, Motorhead and yes, Girl yeah, School, yeah, that's right, that's or is maybe is it a small sub label or something? But yeah. uh, why? Why? Why UDR? I mean, I don't really know to be honest. Apart from the fact that the they were part of SPV, oh, right. and we yeah. were originally with SPV for quite a few albums. So UDR is the is um, you know I think SPV had some problems and. Um, the woman that basically looked after us f for SPV now has her own record label, so we stayed with that. One but last question. Uh, you're playing with uh, Van der Boys tonight. Uh, Saxon uh, also did a European tour with them. Um, what was the reason to pick them as a support act and what do you think of the band? We didn't pick them, actually. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but we like them. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're a good, really good band. Really good old school metal band. Good melodic. You know, good melodic songs, good riffs, great guitar player. Yeah, they played also in my hometown in Brighton at Christmas. I went and I went to see them. They're good. They're good fun. Good band to watch. 
they've got a new album out as well, I think. Uh, thanks a lot for the interview. Uh, one last question is, uh, do you have something you really would like to sh share with our listeners? Is it a radio station? Yeah, the radio station for the listeners and well, with the fans. Uh, yeah, keep buying our records, please. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, I hope, you know, we hope to be in Holland again next year. It's always good for us, so keep coming to the shows. We need you. Mm.